We've already learned how to take derivatives involving natural log of x and derivatives of e to the x, and this lesson is about taking derivatives for bases other than e. So there's a couple new formulas we need to learn. The first is that the derivative of a to the x, where a is the base other than e, is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. So when we take a derivative of an exponential, we get back the exponential, but it's being multiplied by natural log of that base. Now if we change this to make it look like a chain rule problem, then we would say the derivative with respect to x of a to the u would be natural log of a times a to the u times u prime. Then we have the derivative of log base a of x. And much like the derivative of natural log of x, we get a 1 over x, but we also get a 1 over the natural log of the base a. And if we write this and make it look like a chain rule problem, then the derivative of log base a of u would be 1 over the natural log of a, or the base, times u, all times u prime. So let's do some examples. For the first example, we're going to find the derivative of y equals 2 to the x. So this is just using the formula where our base a is 2. So for the derivative, I get y prime equals natural log of 2 times 2 to the x. Okay, slightly more complicated. Now I've replaced the exponent with 3x. So it's actually going to be a u, and our u prime would be 3. So the derivative here would be natural log of 2, it's the natural log of our base, times our exponential 2 to the u, or 2 to the 3x, times our u prime, which is 3. And if I clean that up and put the coefficient out front, I'll have 3 times natural log of 2, times 2 to the 3x. Okay, y equals x times 6 to the negative 2x. This is going to be a product rule where our first function is x and our second function is 6 to the negative 2x. And remember the product rule is the derivative of our first function times the second plus the first function times the derivative of the second. So when we do this, we get derivative of the first, derivative of x is 1, times the second function, 6 to the negative 2x, plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now, if we have 6 to the negative 2x, then this is a chain rule where our u is going to be negative 2x, our u prime is negative 2. So the derivative of 6 to the negative 2x is going to be natural log of 6 times 6 to the u, or negative 2x, times our u prime of negative 2. And if we clean this up, it'll be 6 to the negative 2x minus 2x times natural log of 6 times 6 to the negative 2x. Okay, let's do some log problems. We have y equals log of cosine x. Now, I don't see a base here which means it's common log and the base is 10, or our a is 10. Now this is a chain rule function, and I see that my u is going to be cosine x. So we have u is cosine x, then u prime would be negative sine x. Our f of u 
would be log of u, and its derivative would be 1 over natural log of 10, because that's our base, times u all times u prime. So we're going to get 1 over natural log of 10 times our u, which is cosine x, times our u prime, which is negative sine x, and I can just clean that up and write it as negative sine x over natural log of 10 times cosine x. Okay, in this problem, I see that there's division going on. I also see a power for that square root of x, so we can expand this before we get started. So I can rewrite this as log base 3 of the square root of x minus log base 3 of x plus 5. And then I can move this square root out front as an exponent, and we get 1 half log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of x plus 5. And now we'll take the derivative of each term separately. So we get y prime equals the 1 half stays out front, log base 3 of x, that's just the formula where the base a is 3, so I get 1 over natural log of 3 times x. For my second term here, it's a chain rule, but it's a simple one. My argument u is x plus 5, and u prime would just be 1. So this derivative, I'll keep the minus out front. I get 1 over natural log of the base 3 times u, which is x plus 5, all times u prime, which is just 1. And I can rewrite this as 1 over 2 times natural log of 3 times x minus 1 over natural log of 3 times x plus 5. Okay, this one is going to be a product rule where my first function is x to the 3 halves and my second function is log base 2 of the square root of x plus 1. But when I see that log, I see that I can expand that square root as a power in front of it. So we're going to rewrite this function as x to the 3 halves times 1 half log base 2 of x plus 1. And it doesn't matter if I have the 1 half in front of the log or as part of the x to the 3 halves. I still have two different functions being multiplied together here to do my product rule. So my first function here would be this f. My second one will make this our g. And so our derivative is the derivative of f, 3 halves x to the 1 half times the second function. plus the first function times the derivative of the second one. So for my second one, I'll keep the 1 half. Then I get 1 over natural log of 2 times, this would be our u here, but u prime is just 1. So I'll put my u back in there as an x plus 1, and the whole thing's being multiplied by 1. And if we clean this up, we end up with our derivative is 3 fourths x to the 1 half log base 2 of x plus 1 plus x to the 3 halves over 2 times natural log of 2 times x plus 1.